हे गाइस होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेल वेलकम टू योर चैनल एंड वेलकम टू आवर आंसर राइटिंग गाइडेंस प्रोग्राम इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस ए क्वेश्चन एंड इट्स अप्रोच टू द टू राइट द आंसर बिफोर प्रोसीड आई वांट टू से दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट व्हाट आर द यूनिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए गुड आंसर गो टू माय अर्लियर वीडियोस देयर यू विल फाइंड द यूनिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए good answer what are the some crucial aspects of your answer like introduction balance line the uh, way forward right refer to my earlier videos for that uh, link will be given in the description box so today's question is the arrival of buddhism is a revolution against the existing materialistic prospects of society as well as boon to existing materialistic society the question has two aspects one way it ask that how buddhism how buddhist religion is a revolution against the existing materialistic prospects of society that means how buddhist ethics how buddhist philosophy has raised voice against the existing materialistic characters of the contemporary society this is one aspect of the answer that what are the buddhist ethics what are the buddhist philosophical aspects which has shown concerned towards the materialistic society of the contemporary time and another aspect of the question is that as well as boom to existing materialistic society that means what are some other buddhist ethics or buddhist philosophical ideas which have strengthened the existing materialistic society that means the question is uh, asking two thing that wh uh, what are those buddhist ethics who is has shown concern who is have raised voice against the materialistic characters of the existing society and on the other hand what are those buddhist ethics who is have uh, coexisted with the uh, contemporary materialistic society coexisted means who is have strengthened the materialistic society so till now it is clear there are two points in the question two aspects of the question one is asking for for means what are those buddhist ethics who is have strengthened the existing social uh, binding who is have strengthened the existing materialistic characters of the society and on the other hand against means what are those buddhist ethics or buddhist uh, philosophy who is have raised voice against the existing materialistic prospects of society though so a uh, question is mainly asking so how we have to write the answer that the main key point of the keyword of the question is materialism and society then we have to discuss mainly that how materialism is related to society and we have to discuss in terms of trade class distinction status gender property that means how materialism in terms of trade class status gender uh, property are related to society and how buddhist code of ethics have shown concern against these rules against this materialistic prospects and as well as how the buddhist uh, uh, code of ethics have coexisted with this existing materialistic uh, uh, prospects so this is the core of the question to say as a whole question has two parts one part is asking against and one for another part is asking for against means what are the buddhist codes which are generally not in assimilation with the existing materialistic characters of the society and on the other hand it also asks ki what are those buddhist code of ethics which have uh, coexisted right which have coexisted with the existing materialistic society uh, so first we will approach the first part of the question that how arrival of buddhism is against the existing materialistic prospects of society before proceed i want to say that you will find the model answer in the description box so go to the description box and read the model answer and examine yourself so when we share revolutionary that how buddhist code is revolutionary against the existing contemporary society to answer this aspect of the question we should know 
then what are the buddhist views then what are the buddhist what are those buddhist code of ethics who is have expressed concerns in terms of all these points for example what is the buddhist code of ethics right what is buddhist point of view regarding the acceptance of gold silver or money how they have prohibited the acceptance of gold silver of money and how it is revolutionary against the contemporary materialistic prospects we have to relate all these points to the keyword materialism means how buddhist code of ethics is revolutionary in terms of all these elements against the existing materialism right in that way, ascetic life right ascetic life what is buddhist point of view regarding the way of life and how it is revolutionary against the materialism what is the tribal characters of buddhism what is how a commun how a community life is uh, propounded by the buddhist ethics and how it is against the uh, how it is revolutionary against the existing materialism in that way equality equality in terms of class and gender is propounded by the buddhist to what extent it is revolutionary against the existing materialistic prospects of society in that way denial of the existence of god how it is revolutionary against the materialism of that time non violence how it is revolutionary and how it is against the existing materialistic prospects of society how non violence is connected with uh, sacrifices and how prohibition of sacrifices is revolutionary how it is connected to existing materialistic characters so this forms the first part of the answer of the given question coming to the second part of the question that how it supports the existing materialistic prospects of society right that this part of the in this part of the answer we have to write that how buddhist code of ethics have supported or coexisted with the contemporary materialistic prospects of society and to write this part of the answer what points we can bring <clears throat> that buddhist code of ethics has prohibited the debtors from entering the sangha that means it somehow supports the money lenders right in this way it, uh, it we cannot say that it cannot be said that the buddhist religion is quite revolutionary in terms of social prospects or in terms of uh, <clears throat> it is revolutionary against the existing materialistic prospects of society because prohibiting the debtors into entering the sangha it somehow supports the money lender or upper class of society in that way it has prohibited the slaves entering the sangha does it has support, somehow supported the existed varna divided society while writing the answers be careful in using words do not use extreme words like i uh, be uh, be careful and while you are uh, watching the you are listening to the uh, video be careful what words i am using i have never said in extremely that buddhist code of ethics have supported the uh, money lenders i am saying that buddhist code of ethics does somehow supports the money lenders i am using the word somehow that means i am not using extreme words be careful while writing answers do not use extreme words right in that way life on arms means how the buddhist monks are living they are living on the age or arms given by the landy uh, uh, given by the rich classes right uh, they, they are much more dependent on the money lenders on the merchants and traders in this way they are uh, no way different from the other people other materialistic people uh, because they are leading an inactive life where they have not done anything but they are dependent on other people who have provided them the necessary things 
right so in that way we can say that uh, somehow buddhist code of ethics are no way different from the existing materialistic prospects of society that no strong reaction against the burner system though buddhist code of ethics has Pre, uh, paved the way for a classless society but nowhere it has raised a strong voice against the burner divided society in that a buddhist development uh, is on the financial aid of the merchants so we all know that whatever is whatever buddhist development buddhist arc and architecture we have seen yeah whatever buddhist art development is found they are mainly aided by the merchant or trading class so um, these points can and prove that that somehow buddhist code of ethics have also coexisted with the contemporary materialistic prospects of society or they are on the line of existing materialistic prospects of society after they give a balanced line a balanced paragraph and then conclusion in conclusion be always optimistic your answer should be always optimistic or your answer should convey a carry of hope or something bright right so these are the approaches to write the answer of the given question you will find the model answer in the description box while re uh, writing the answer i am preparing the answer for my students that is why it is somehow lengthy because uh, it is for understanding purposes but while writing answer in the exam hall you can reduce some word limits so hope everyone will pre pre prepare well for the upcoming mains exam happy hunting for mains exam i'll come again with another video till then take care and bye bye